with a, a, a country like Nigeria, with a, a large population, it, it needs obviously uh, protein sources of food, and uh, aquaculture provides that source of uh, protein for its population. The ability to distribute fish and move them quickly and safely to the internal market and to the world market. Those are real challenges. Nigeria is trying to fix them and that's what we're trying to fix. We are seeking to understand uh, the post-harvest losses that occur as fish travel along the chain from production through processing, transportation to consumption. If you produce, say for example, five fish, but only four fish are viable for market, then that means that the four fish that are sold have to carry the, the cost of the five fish that were brought to harvest. And so that means the consumer has to pay more. That means that the Nigerian fishery is less competitive on the world market. Our research will identify technologies, appropriate technologies that could be used to reduce post-harvest losses. Losses can be overwhelming, but with this research we can have definite answers uh, as to the quantum of uh, losses as fish travel uh, along the value chain. Whether they be inefficiencies at the front end of the value chain or inefficiencies at the back end of the value chain. The more we understand and the more we can fill in these, uh, these data gaps, the more likely we are to develop effective interventions. And that's really the ultimate goal, is to develop interventions that work, that improve the efficiency of the overall market. We expect to see a rippling effect in neighboring countries like Ghana, Togo, Benin, and uh, these innovations could be adopted in the sub-region, so these, the, the success will spread to the, to the neighboring countries in Nigeria.